So it's been uh, almost 12 months that we've been working with Ian and the Duke team uh, to put this whole project together. So it's, it's been incredible to work with Duke, the Space Agency, uh, Civil Aviation Safety Authority, the local communities to bring this uh, to fruition. What we're trying to do is do the safest space launches possible. So that requires two components. It, it requires the location where you will launch into space from, as well as then a location that you can test parts of electronics, parts of uh, you know, satellites or rockets, and recover them safely on the ground before you try and get the rocket to do 7.8 kilometers per second, you know. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a very good way to de-risk operations before you try the, the real deal. So Duke Systems has been working on uh, small electronic warfare uh, systems. Uh, for deployment on Cube satellites. Now this is a this is a breakthrough, and and the activity that we're doing with Southern Launch is a major step towards proving our capability to develop these miniaturised uh, sensors. This uh, project that we're doing uh, with Southern Launch has been sponsored by the Royal Australian Air Force's Project Jericho, uh, so that we can um, prove how rapidly we can launch these types of sensors. We intend to use uh, the Whaler's Way site when we move forward with our MOAS project. The orbits that we can access through that launch facility will work in well with what our concept of operations is. So we are hopeful that once we've proven ourselves on the rocket range at Kaniba, that we'll be able to um, then develop our technology further to use the Whaler's Way station. We want to launch overland so that we can retrieve the payload on completion. Because even though we are sending a lot of information down over our, our data link, there's still a lot more that's being recorded and retained on board. So it's, it's very important that we retrieve that. And we're also very keen to see what the state of the uh, systems are on board after the launch. When uh, Australian companies started to talk about uh, launch operations on Australia or from Australia, and at that point, everyone was looking at market research and the likes to justify why the operations should be at least should be attempted. Now we're looking at multiple contracts, and having a space agency creates a focal point for both international and domestic companies to come together and have those very important uh, discussions around how their unique capabilities can come together and create something far greater, the sum of the parts is greater than the whole.